Getting started. Log into Facebook and type http colon backslash backslash apps.facebook.com backslash static underscore html underscore plus backslash on the address bar. Now click on the Add Static HTML to a Page button. Click on the Facebook Pages drop-down menu to select the Facebook page where you will embed your A-Store. Then click on the Add Page tab button. After this step is completed, you will be redirected to a new setup page from where you will integrate your Amazon A-Store. Click on Setup tab to get started by deleting the text in the index.html field. Creating the A-Store now go to your Amazon Associates account. In the Product Linking tab, click on A-Store and then on Build an A-Store Now in the following screen to create and personalize your new A-Store. Start personalizing your A-Store by selecting categories to display products from the Amazon inventory. Click on Add Category Page and in the Enter Title field, enter the name of your category as you want it to appear on your A-Store. You can add products to this category either by adding individual products or by adding products per Amazon.com category, which is the option that we recommend. Click on Continue when you finish setting up this step. Now you have to customize the presentation of your page. Here you can select your A-Store's theme page background color, headers, content background color, body text, and link color. Here you can also name your A-Store and configure the A-Store header to show your A-Store's name or some other text. Click on Continue when you are done customizing your A-Store's presentation. In the next section, you will have to select your A-Store's sidebar placement and widgets. You can place your sidebar at the right side or the left side of your A-Store. You can also select which widgets to show on which pages. The selection here will mostly depend on your discretion. So let's click on Finish and Get Store Link. In this final step, you will be presented with three embedding options. Simple Link to My Store as a standalone site, Embed My Store using an inline frame, and Embed My Store using a frame set. Because you are going to embed your A Store on a Facebook page, select the Embed My Store using an inline frame and copy the code that has been generated. Embedding your A-Store. Go back to the Facebook tab control panel and paste the code in the index.html field. Now you will see a warning message which only means that you have to optimize this code for Facebook. To do so, simply apply the following modifications to the code. Add an S to HTTP to make it HTTPS which is used by browsers to run security checks. Change the width value to 815px and the height value to 1200px. Change the scrolling value to yes. Once you have made these modifications, scroll up and click on Save and Publish. Go back to your Facebook page and click on the Welcome tab. As you can see, your A-Store is now integrated into your Facebook page. You can edit the name of this tab from Welcome to something appropriate for your A-Store by going to Settings, clicking on the Edit Page tab. Scroll down to the Tab section and click on the Settings button on the Welcome tab, then on Edit Settings to change the tab name to something that better resembles your A-Store. Save, click OK, and save again. Now your A-Store is all set. Thank you.